What is up, bro? I just filmed a video about quitting bad habits. I assume that's going to be uploaded yesterday. So if you watch this yesterday, I made that video. So this video is about creating good ones. So let's get straight into it. So make like a little thing. I have a whiteboard. You can have a notepad. You can have your phone notes, download an app that gives you notifications. Do something where you're permanently aware of your new habits so you don't miss out on them. So what I have, I have like an app called Do. Uh, I don't know if it's on Android, but on iPhones, on App Store, you can get the app Do, which pretty much just, uh, it's a very simple, minim minimalistic kind of app that helps you like remember shit. So this is what mine looks like right now. I have pray meditation, training, deep work, one to two hours at least a day. I am think I think I'm about eight hours, of, <laughs> eight hours of deep work. So I definitely do that uh, every day and 50 to 250 push-ups every day and i have to read every day and i have to go for a walk every day and then i have to do breath work every day so those are mine and um, the good thing about this is you can't really miss it because you have the little icon of a notification on the app if you have something left to do so that means you're constantly reminded okay i still i still have some habits left to like complete today so that's a very good one something else you can do is habit stacking and habit stacking pretty much means stacking habits on top of each other so if you have a habit already a good one or just a like neutral habit you do every single day stack another good habit on top of that that could be every time you take your vitamins remember to take your creatine every time you meditate go read five minutes uh for five minutes after that or 10 minutes however long you want to read do things like this so let's say every time you go for a run habit stack put on stretching afterwards foam rolling something like this like stacking habits that obviously makes sense because wouldn't really make sense to stack the habit of going to school and going to the gym because you're going to school something <laughs> like you know what i mean right stack some good habits that make sense on top of each other that helps you get into the routine of doing shit. also Another way to create a new habit and also break up another one, a bad one, uh, just a bonus tip. Imagine your brain is like a map and in this map you have roads that your um, signals, the roads are the, the um, paths that your signals go through from your brain. And then the signals are the cars, the the roads are the paths right so these cars are driving down these roads and a way you can create a new habit is you can do something like brushing your teeth with the opposite hand that you that you would normally do and what this does is like break these roads down and helps you like create new ones so what happens with your brain is the more cars or signals go through the same path every fucking day the stronger this path gets and the harder it is to break this path and that means like the harder it is to break that bad habit and you can use this to your advantage to like just drop these paths pretty much you can do this with like drugs as well but i don't recommend that um but you can do it just simply by doing something like completely opposite and then it will rearrange like the roads and you can make new roads and make them strong because the same goes for good habits like the fact that the more you do the good habit the more like the stronger the road gets i hope you understand what i mean here another thing is design an environment where you kind of promote or give yourself cues to actually do the good habits so that could be getting out your gym clothes at uh, night before bed so you're instantly ready at the morning to just get on on the clothes and go to the gym if you want to run or go for walks at the morning just prepare your running or like good walking shoes get it ready um, make a good playlist like prepare the thing so you have the least amount of friction to do the good habit as possible something else you can do is join like a culture or like a community where the thing you want to do the good habit you want to do is like normal so that would be joining the gym if you want to work out or joining like a, a, a boxing gym if you want to get better at, at fighting obviously these kind of things uh, instead of running alone you can join like uh, just go on facebook and search like whatever the fuck runs in my location near me or whatever and you can find like other people um, meeting up and running together things like these are, are very very uh, good 
to actually stay and do the good habits because you one you build community you make friendships you build new relationships um, but you also kind of get the accountability partner by like you showing up and running with these people they will start like okay this guy comes like every friday or something and when you don't show up every friday then they're gonna be like what the fuck is going on and and they're gonna like talk to you about like what happened last friday you were you sick or why why did you skip and like you're gonna build like some kind of accountability partner you can also just deliberately like ask some someone at the gym or ask your friend or ask someone you're running in this group together with like to make you accountable so like text you every time you're about to, they're about to run and ask you if, if you want to join them something like this is very beneficial you can also kind of create it's similar to habit stacking but like create a ritual or a, a routine around your good habit so do something you really enjoy around the good habit maybe before maybe after i re i recommend after so what you can do something like a very um traditional like classica like a classic one is i don't know if you had this but as a child my parents would be like if you read for 30 minutes or if you do homework 30 minutes you can play computer for like 30 minutes something like this actually works really well and you can just create this yourself so that could be literally what i used to do when i was on a diet if i wanted something like really wanted it all it took was for me to just walk for as long it took to like burn the amount of calories i wanted to eat very simple right so you can have the you can have the cake and eat it too you just gotta sacrifice a little bit of time to do the cardio in my example uh, i'm sure you can find an example that works for your um good habit that you want to like create something else you can do is make the habit the good habit more enjoyable so going to the gym would be more enjoyable if you listen to a very good playlist so find a very good playlist on spotify or create your own with the old uh, favorite like songs and for me that is like super hardcore like either uh, funk or hard step or like some something like i have some songs from uh, the movie creed so like, like the boxer i have some of the i have some of the songs from that movie and and some other shit like that that really motivate me because that reminds me like of the movie and like the whole scene where he goes through fight camp i think it's the same thing with a lot of americans and like the rocky music like when rocky is like doing his transformation and and uh, training uh, i hope you know what i mean something else you could do would be if you wanted to meditate make like a room or create like this area of your room where it's like really cozy and nice to be at so when you want to meditate it's like very cozy and nice uh to to do something like this and i'm sure again you can find something that works for your current habit that you want to like uh, create something very very important i'm gonna leave you with lastly is when you miss a habit do not beat yourself up your habit or your goals are like the ideal make like your habits the ideal and of course nobody's perfect so you're not gonna be able to do the ideal every single day however make sure you don't keep like missing because if you miss the gym once it's very easy to miss the gym twice and if you miss it twice it's very easy to do the third time now you skip three days in a row it's very easy that that like to turn that into a week and if you're already at, at a week there's actually like a 50 percent chance you're gonna skip two weeks and if you skip two weeks that's actually like a very high chance that you will completely quit the fucking gym two weeks so make sure you never miss two days in a row just get it done if you haven't slept still go to the gym just for the fact that, that you still create this habit and make sure this habit stays in place all right the only only excuse for this is if you're actually sick don't go to the gym like if you're actually sick don't go for a run because that's just gonna prolong the the illness and sickness so yeah um, I'm gonna leave you with something here. I just created workout program, a training program for beginners. So if you are interested in that, there will be a link in the description. And along with this training program, you will get an app where you can track your progress at the gym and just following follow the app along as you do the workout. So if you're interested, link down below. The next five days, that will be 50% off. That's a little limited offer I got from the website who host uh, the course or the training program for me. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, bro. Boom.